G'day guys, this is JR and welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be looking at the highly rated striker from Bayern, Robert Lewandowski. Okay, so looking at his face card, we can see that he's been upgraded to an 87 overall player with 85 dribbling, 84 shooting and 81 pace. If we delve a little deep, you'll find that his top three include 88 reactions, 87 finishing and 87 positioning. He features a four-star weak foot with four-star skill moves. He has high attacking and low defensive work rates. I paid around 170,000 coins for him and he is the highest rated striker in the Bundesliga once again. Overall, I found him to be a mixed bag. I played him in a 4-3-3 formation with Robbery and Ribery on his wings and somehow they both outscored him. His goal to game ratio for me personally was disastrous. However, he did pick up plenty of assists, almost as many as goals he scored. He was good on the ball, especially in tight situations. With good aggression, he somehow was able to charge through defenders while keeping the ball at his feet. For his size, he was extremely agile for a striker. Um, in front of goals, I found him to be extremely accurate when given the chance he rarely missed. I found him to be really good at creating chances for other players. With his 79 strength, it was enough to hold off my opponents while my wingers got into the right position to lay off the pass and score. His in-game stats suggest that he's somewhat strong at heading, however considering how nerfed it is, I didn't really get the chance to utilize it. One point for me that I didn't like was his pace. I know it says 81, however it felt a lot lower. I think this was the reason why my wingers were outscoring him. My opponent's defenders were able to keep up with him putting too much pressure on him. Comparing him to other strikers in the Bundesliga, I tried both Immobile and Ramos and found both to be equally as good with the latter being possibly better. For the price you're paying, I don't think he's completely worth it at this stage. My advice would be to wait for it to come down. In the meantime, I'd stick with Ramos. His pace is faster than Lewandowski, however his finishing isn't quite as good. Okay guys, so that's my review of Lewandowski. I'd like to thank you once again for watching and we'll catch you next time.